your identity stolen. Yeah, identity <laughs> theft and crash your crash your your credit and whatnot. But we're talking about Hillary Clinton mm-hmm. in the state the Depar- Secretary of State in the State Department with government documents. And the news this week was yeah, well, yeah, but it didn't cause anybody's death. But actually. If you've everybody oh. out there serving, all you veterans out there, you know, even if you didn't serve in harm's way, you you've learned, you understand how this works. When information, when confidential information with names of spies and operatives in foreign lands and possibly uh, operating in enemy territory gets out, it may not be weeks, it could be months, it could be years. Those people are – their life is in danger. Their family's life could be in danger, and you're listening to smithradio.com. You can call in at 513-888-1538. Please follow us at facebook.com slash smithradio, and also follow us on Twitter, which is – handle our Twitter handle is at Smith Radio. Also, don't forget that Smith is spelled S-M-Y-T-H, so it's going to be at – S M Y T H R A D I O when you go to Twitter, Facebook, all them. And also we are on iHeart Radio, which is iHeartRadio.smithradio.com. So you can listen to us there and all of our all of our past shows are archived at Spreaker.com. You can follow us there too. Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. And we're talking about Hillary Clinton and the email server gate. And th- th- if you type in, what did you type into the Google? Oh, no, it was Twitter. I or was Twitter? trying to okay. do a, um, a hashtag for uh, Servergate. So I started typing in S-E-R-V-E-R, and the only thing that showed up, it wasn't Servergate or anything like that. It was uh, server in a bathroom. <laughs> what is that? That was what comes up when you type in hashtag server. Because, server in a bathroom. Because apparently she had a server in a closet in a bathroom somewhere. So was the closet in the bathroom or was there a bathroom in the closet? Because you got to have a big mansion. Big oh, closet. Imagine how big your closet has to be in order to have a bathroom in right. it. Right. Amazing. I know. Well, and she does. She does. She's got millions, millions. and millions of dollars All coming from, in. Yeah, from wherever. <laughs> right. And oh the one story I forgot to uh to tell you about, and this will be in the movie uh Clinton Cash, this is where they get all their money. Um there's an article that came out and said uh that a whole article that talked about Bill Clinton and this goes hand in hand with Hillary screaming about Trump University well, they have their own university issue that they're trying to keep quiet. Oh, that's that's news that is completely quiet. Right. Bill Clinton was hired as uh, uh, in a position, a high a position where you don't do anything for this college. Um, a high a lo- position where you don't yeah, do Yeah, you just, you know, your name what only, you get an you office. say you do here? <laughs> right. <laughs> it was called a, a, a lariat appointment, of so a lucrative 2010 lariat appointment. So at this college, uh, Bill Clinton received sixty some million dollars in pay for just a couple of years of being on the the board or having this position. Well, come to find out, when you follow the money trail, that's when she was Secretary of State, and then all of a sudden, ironically. Millions and millions of U.S. aid dollars were sent to a nonprofit organization called International Youth Foundation. Well, that sounds pleasant. International Youth. Oh yeah, Foundation. it's for the children. Right. What which about is about the children? Which is run by the founder of this university, and the funding skyrocketed. Okay, so what is this nonprofit for international youth? What does this have to do with this university? Well, they interviewed a kid who goes to that college, and he said, this college, this is for all the international students that cannot possibly go to a college anywhere in America. When you can't get into American college, you come to this college, and guaranteed you get in. But So what, when you say they can't get into another college, for what reason? For a various wide range of reasons, whether it be money, because like if you want to, if you're an international student and you want to go to Purdue University, okay, which is 
pretty prestigious college. If you want to go there and you live in India, in order to go to Purdue University, you've got to show the university that you have X amount of dollars in a bank account specifically earmarked for college. And it has to pay for all the college, all the room and board, has to have food allowance, has to, I mean, just a, a exponential amount of money to prove that this child will get the education and not fail out or run out of money. Or just be starving because they have no money to for to eat. No Correct. Matter. Okay. So the so the, the American government doesn't have to pay for this foreign student to eat. Well, this university, you ain't got no money. It don't make no never mind because we've got a sister nonprofit organization raising money from the government to pay your way. Okay, so they they come and then this pays their way, but then wh- where's the scam? Bill Clinton is on the board of that university okay. where those kids go to. Okay. The university paid Bill Clinton $62 million. And then all of a sudden, Hillary's Secretary of State signs off on government aid to the International Youth Fund to that bring pays the kids for in. The kids. Yes! Oh, that is to so tune, crooked. To, to the tune of hundreds of millions of dollars. Oh, that is so crooked. So basically they're saying, all right, so we use the government to pay for these kids to go to our college. Right. So that Bill can get a paycheck. Right. It's $62 million. That, that, that ultimately, if you follow the money back, is just coming from taxpayer money that she authorized. Right. Oh, my God. God. That's uh, folks. That's called racketeering. Oh, it's, is that what she's getting busted? It's called racketeering. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the big one that's that part they're of talking the about. Clinton cash thing. Right, oh right. Wow, so that is amazing. So this whole Trump U uh, debacle is something she needs to shut up it's, about. It's a red herring, if you will. Once you start to look into the whole Trump U thing, and uh, it's unfortunate. Uh, What's his fa- uh, what's his face? Trump. What's, what's his what? What you call it? Trump's yeah. got to get a hold of his language. Oh boy! So we're going into that segment. <laughs> All yeah. right. So we got Trump. The Trump University debacle. Here's the thing. He's getting sued in a class action lawsuit by former students. Correct. Okay. So and now this university was, and I've been to certain. Oh, I've of I've these been to yeah. Before. Uh-huh. <laughs> And you you pay to get their knowledge, and they'll teach you their strategies. That's what they that's what they sell it as, and a lot of times that's kind of what it is. But it's different than a normal traditional university. Uh, it's almost like entrepreneur um, uh, uh, consulting. It's, it's like exactly paying, what it is. You're paying for. Uh, to learn how to be an entrepreneur by cur- by people who have gone through the entrepreneurial process, and they're going to kind of mentor you and consult w- with you. And, and I've got a and cost a, is very high. And I've got a program from a from a, a a dear friend of mine that I haven't spoke to in years. I'm not quite sure where he is, but uh, old Ray Reynolds. Oh, Ray Reynolds taught people how to set up their own yeah. universities. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that yes. is hilarious. Yes. yes. Oh, wow. Yes. Okay, okay. An accredited university, and you can teach what you will. The reason I'm laughing so hard about that is because uh, we've talked so much about Ray Reynolds, and we've talked about him on this show in, <laughs> in shows in episodes in the past. And every time you go through the story about how he teaches you how to gain uh, corporate credit and right. stuff like that, mm-hmm. but to throw out, oh yeah, you can get, you could set up a university. That right. I wasn't expecting that, but I, I vaguely remember you telling me about that a long time ago. So uh, it just cracked yeah. me up well, I got, again because we're talking. Yeah. <laughs> that's exactly what Clinton did. And by the way, isn't Ray Reynolds a total criminal? Well, he did go to jail for a minute. Um, I, I might get busted for slander for that. Maybe, one. maybe uh, it's well, liable, 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 liable. You never know. However. As a, a corporation, you get creative with the rules and the laws. You get creative, and you don't break the law. Uh, and I, I got you. And I asked him one time. I just daydream, and I said, "Hey, can I can I buy an island and put a bank on that island, and then 
come back to America and be a diplomat and have diplomatic immunity <laughs> and then have all my money go to my own bank and my own island? And not only that, but you I could wouldn't be, pay no taxes. You could be a bank where uh, rich people around the world could harbor their money. Absolutely. And I asked you about that. Yeah, we'll get into that towards the end of the class. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Wow. He said, absolutely. I could walk you through the diplomatic process. But here's the thing. you got to renounce your citizenship, but you'll be a diplomat, and that's kind of actually better. You'd be better than a U.S. citizen. <laughs> <laughs> that's sad. Oh, it's disgusting. And you know what the sad. liberals would say. You get all of the rights and protections of the Constitution, even though you renounce your citizenship, because according to liberals, if you're a human being, the Constitution applies to all. Well, well, there are no borders. No open borders. Well, not only that, but as a diplomat, and you've probably heard many stories where they – Oh, uh, no. The, the DUI, killing, drunk driving. The, well, those are real stories. <laughs> but uh, lethal weapon. Oh, diplomatic right. immunity. immunity. And then, and then Mel, he ended up shooting him in the head. Yeah, Mel Gibson said, "Oh no, no, no!" It was uh, uh, the guy who played next to Mel Gibson. He said, you're, "Joe Pesci." You're, <laughs> no, 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 uh, no. He said, uh, immu "Immunity or your diplomatic status has been revoked," and he shoots him in the head. Yeah. Anyways. Um, so we've got a little bit of dirt that we've dug up on on this whole Trump University, and it's kind of turned out to be a little bit of a debacle. Trump said, I could have settled this. He was interviewed on uh, Deface the Nation this morning, too. Oh, which, how did that go? Uh, well, he was asked about the Trump University thing, and uh, I will have to tell you, um, I don't have a soundbite on me, but he absolutely did dodge the question big time. <laughs> okay. He, he, he dodged it, but I was, um, I was okay with it. All I right. Was, I was okay with okay, it. Okay, good, good. Uh, because um, he needs to get away from that, really. He really, he need so basically what, what. The the judge's name is uh, what I have written. Oh, uh, Judge Gonzalo Curiel. Okay, and uh, give me a second while I look up. Uh, oh wow, I have no idea what. Oh, here we go. I got it. So Trump Trump avoided the question. He was on uh, Face Nation, Deface Nation this morning. <laughs> And uh, he voided the question about the, the judge's Mexican heritage and what it has to do with his ability to do his job. So all these people are, are screaming racism to Donald Trump because he's saying that, this, that he needs to be thrown out as a judge of this case. Yeah, he needs to accuse himself. Because he's Mexican. Right. And since he's building a wall, since Trump is building a wall, that he's going to be biased against him because he's Mexican. And all the, the the liberal Democrat uh, experts and journalists and everything out there are saying, whoa, e oh, even Megyn Kelly. Oh. Dude was born in Indiana. Right. And he's an American citizen. Right, but his parents came from Mexico. Right, and I don't even know if they're legal or illegal. No, they came through Kentucky to the tobacco farms and then headed north to Indiana for, for to secure year-round work. But were they illegal? So I don't even know. And that's uh, neither Roll here the nor dice. there. Roll the dice. Roll the dice. Okay, so 50-50, they're illegal. <laughs> but he was born in Indiana, and by our stupid laws that came out in the 1950s, he's automatically a U.S. citizen. Right. It was the 14th Amendment, Emancipation Proclamation, that said all uh, black – or all well, that, slaves. Yeah, all slaves. Amendment goes way, way back. Right. All slaves that are now free mm. men – are now American citizens. Because they were born on U.S. soil. Right. So the libtards <laughs> say, everybody born on American soil is an American citizen. It's in the Constitution. What's this anchor baby thing, Trump? Yeah, so so that's that. So him saying that, well, he needs to uh, not be judged because he is unfit to do his job because he's biased. The whole thing just, uh, to me personally, it sounds... Even if it's not racist, it sure can be painted that way by the Democrats. So I'm, uh, so so he was asked about this, and he basically avoided the question completely. And he basically said, "I want to build a wall, and this judge is proud of his heritage, and there's nothing wrong with that." But 
common sense 